let's talk about the impact between whether you are attempting to get FedRAMP for the first time or whether you're already FedRAMP. Who is this impacting more and where do those changes lie? Okay, if you're already in the process, I've already got a, a, a three pal working with me. We're already in the process of, of, of assessing everything I do. And you were doing this under the auspices of Rev4, okay? So you're already in the process. You're already registered that you are you are FedRAMP ready. And I've got the three pal over here and they're working with me to go through all the, the controls and all the evidence. You can stick with Rev4, you're fine, okay? If you were not already engaged with the three pal, my understanding is that if you don't, even if you're FedRAMP ready, but you haven't engaged with a three pow to come in and start the assessment, sorry, you've got to move to Rev5. Okay, so there's the difference. If you have a three pow, uh, obviously, if you're already ATO, you're done. Okay, ATO authorization to operate. If you're already ATO, if you're already operating, if you're already running, you're and you're at Rev4, you're at Rev4 until the next time. Okay, if you're engaged and have a, if you have a three pow engaged. And you're doing it Rev4, stay with Rev4, you're fine. They're not going to make you switch midstream, basically. But if you haven't started, you better start reading Rev5.